Hi and welcome to this video where we'll be going over the latest features released in FMT 7.7.10. Let's jump right into the video. Here are the release notes for 7.7.10. Migration from Azure Native Firewall to Cisco Firewall Threat Defense. Migration from Checkpoint and Fortinet Firewall to Cisco Multi-Cloud Defense. Ability to identify security group tags in ASA configs. You can now edit rules within the FMT. And finally, enhancement to pre and post migration reports. Now, let's go over each of them through some demos. Starting with migration of Microsoft Azure Native Firewall to Cisco FTD. First, we choose Microsoft Azure from the drop-down and click on Start Migration. Then, we upload the config file extracted from the Azure Native Firewall. You can find the steps to extract the configuration in our documentation which is linked in the description. After the config has passed, we connect FMT to Firewall Management Center using its login credentials. Once the FMC has successfully connected, we choose the FTD from the drop-down and click on Proceed. Then, we start the rule conversion process. In the Optimize, Review, and Validate page, you can browse through all the configurations that will be migrated. After reviewing them, click on Validate. After successful validation, we can push the configuration to Firewall Management Center. There we go, the migration completed successfully. Next, let's look at the migration from Fortinet Firewall to Cisco Multicloud Defense. First, we choose Fortinet from the drop-down and click on Start Migration. Then, we upload the config file extracted from the Fortinet Firewall. After the config has passed, we connect FMT to Multicloud Defense by passing the base URL, tenant name, API key, and API secret. All of them can be found as shown in the video. Once it has connected successfully, we can start the root conversion process. Make sure to download the pre-migration report. In the Optimize, Review and Validate page, you can browse through all the configurations that will be migrated. After reviewing them, click on Validate. After successful validation, we can push the configuration to multi-cloud defense. Once the migration completes, you can download the post migration report as well. Now, let's head over to multi-cloud defense to check out the migrated configurations.
There we go. The migration completed successfully. Next, let's look at the migration from checkpoint firewall to Cisco multi-cloud defense. The process remains pretty much the same as before. First, we choose checkpoint from the drop-down and click on start migration. Then, we upload the config file extracted from the checkpoint firewall. Note that you can also choose to establish a live connection with the checkpoint firewall alternatively. After the config has passed, we connect FMT to Cisco Multicloud Defense as we did previously. Once it has connected successfully, we can start the rule conversion process. In the Optimize, Review and Validate page, you can browse through all the configuration that will be migrated. After reviewing them, click on Validate. After successful validation, we can push the configuration to Multi-Cloud Defense. Once the migration completes, you can download the post-migration report as well. Now, let's head over to Multicloud Defense to check out the migrated configurations. There we go. The migration completed successfully. Finally, let's look at the demo of security group tags getting identified in ASA configuration file, the ability to edit rules within the firewall migration tool, and enhancements made in pre- and post-migration reports. Let's make sure that Cisco ASA is selected as the source firewall vendor and click on Start Migration. Next, let's upload the ASA configuration file. Note that in the past summary of the configuration file, SGT objects have been identified. Once the rule conversion process has completed, you can download the pre-migration report where each section can also be exported as a CSV file by clicking on this button. Next, let's look at how we can edit rules within FMT. You select the rule that you want to edit and choose edit from the actions. This will pop up a dialog box which is visually similar to the rule editing UI in the FMC. Here, you can add and remove parameters like security zones, objects, dynamic attributes, etc. from the rule. You can also change the intrusion policy, file policy, logging, and action of the rule. In the objects section, you can look at all the security group tag objects as well. After the migration is completed, you can download the post-migration report which has a new comparison chart that compares the number of configurations in the pre-migration report and post-migration report for each category. That is all we have for this video. 
Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more such content.